All right, so in this one, we're going to learn a little bit about uh, query strings so that we can know how to use the same page that's uh, changing the profile to change our cover image, okay? So now, what a query string is, if you look at all the uh, browsers, for example, if, even when I go to my uh, local host here, you see that after the .php, there's a question mark here, and then there's some a bunch of text after that at the top here. Now, everything after the question mark is a query string. Okay. So now what is a query string? Now, the query string is a way to send information to, to, from one page to another. So for example, my page could be uh, login.php like this. Okay. So if I have a link uh, on my page, it's going to be something like this, href uh, equal to close tag like that, and then uh, open, and then I close the tag like this. So this is an A tag, opening A tag and closing A tag, and it's linking to this page. Now, if I want to send information to this particular page, I can use a query string. Like for example, I put a question mark here, even with this question mark here, this will still lead me to the login.php page because the browser knows to ignore this question mark. So it knows that everything after the question mark is useful information. Now, anything after this question mark, you can create um, an array of data. Now, so far, you remember that we used the post to get user data. Okay, now this post usually comes as an array with information in there, like uh, location one, something like that, and then is equal to something, maybe some value in there, like this, and then location two, and so on and so forth. So in this way, the post gets information from the user. Now, there's another variable called the get. It's like this. So get will get information from the query string. So you can create a list of uh, an array of sorts. So I can say, for example, after the question mark, I say something like A is equal to one. And then I put uh, and like that and say B is equal to two. And then I put and again and say B is equal to three. So I think you get the idea here. So what will happen is when I open this login.php, it's going to have an array of information uh, where the first memory location is A and it's going to be equal to one. And the second one will be B and it's going to be equal to two and, and so on and so forth. So here you can, in this way, you can send an array of information to that page that you are opening. Now that information can be used for all sorts of things to know exactly, for example, what information to query from the database. So here you can put anything, as long as you don't put special characters like spaces or uh, the and itself is used as a placeholder. So if I put the and twice like this, it's going to assume there's an empty location here. It won't, it won't use this for example, I can say is equal to and like this and say and again like that. What will happen here is going to be equal to an empty thing and then you to think this is just an empty space here. So there are special characters here, you can uh, Google it. And I actually have a video that I did about this. The link will be in the description if you want to check that out. All right, so how now in that page, once you send this information, for example, on the page that you've sent the information, this get variable is going to contain this array right there. So that's how easy it is to use. So let's see this in practice as we do this. So how we are going to use this is if we go to our profile.php page, where we're redirecting the user to change the cover and change the image, we're just going to add a simple query string at the end of the .php here so I'm going to put a question mark like this, and then I'm going to say, uh, I can use any name to define my memory location. I'm going to say change is equal to, so from here I'm changing the profile image. So I'm going to say profile. 
So these are just random things that I've selected. You can use any, any words here. And again, I'm going to say change is equal to cover. So this is just information to tell me what the user wants to change. Do they want to change the profile? Do they want to change the cover? I can simply say A is equal to profile and A is equal to cover. So A will be equal to what the person wants to do. So, but just to make it more readable, I can say change. If you don't, if you want to keep the information cryptic, you can simply say A is equal to profile A, or you don't even have to write profile. You can simply say A is equal to D and A is equal to C. So you can know that D means this, A means, C means that. However, I want to keep it more user friendly. So I'm going to leave it at that. Now, if I go to my profile and refresh the page, what you will notice is if I hover here, you see that if you go down here on the uh, browser, you see that now there's a question mark here. The link has a question mark and change is equal to profile. And then here change is equal to cover. So all we have to do in our change image is to search for that get request. So what I will do is come here uh, right at the top here before the posting happens right here. I'm just going to tell it to print readable what's inside the get like so. Now, as usual, I will use my pre tags to make it more readable since this is a, a an array that we're reading from. So let me copy that, paste that like that. So I just wanted to show me what's in the get variable. So I'm going to click here. So now, as you see, when I've loaded, you see that there's a query string at the top here, question mark changes you go to profile. But then you see here an array has been created with change equaling profile. So this way it tells me that oh, the person wants to change the profile here. And then if I go back and do the cover one and I'm going to have change will be equal to cover. So in this way I can send information. I can send as many as I want in here. For example, if I go back, uh, where is this? Um, down here where we are doing the, oh, actually it's in uh, profile images, profile.php. So if I go to profile and say, and I put the and and say B is equal to uh, hello, something like that. Now, if I go back, if I go back here and change cover, let me go back, change profile. You see that now there are two more memory locations just there. So this is a way of moving information from one page to another. However, this is not a secure way because anyone can see this information at the top here. So you should not put sensitive data in this location. For example, name, email, passwords, and all that should never be part of the query stream. Instead, what you do is you put snippet of information that will allow you to know what to get from the database to identify the user or something similar. All right, so this is enough here. If I go to this page now, what I need to do if I go at the top, that is going to determine where we save the data in the query here. That's how it's going to change. Where do we save that particular image? So in this case, we are saying the query is equal to set profile image is equal to file name. So in the case where we are changing the cover, the only difference is that we're going to change this to cover image because in our our database, the cover image resides there. So simply by changing where, which column we save this image, it becomes either the profile image or the cover image. So let's use the get variable to determine that. Now, always remember that the get is not secure because someone can easily go in there and type a bunch of gibberish. So you have to be uh, ready to collect some gibberish. So let's say if is set. So we want to know if it is set, the get variable, uh, the word change. If that memory location is set, then we do something. Okay. 
Now, first of all, before we see if it is set, set we'll, we'll have a variable called change, and we're going to say change is equal to, by default, we're going to set it to profile, so that in case the user puts some gibberish at the top of the page, we'll still replace their profile image, okay? However, if this one is set, then we set it to that. So we're going to say change is equal to this. So whether it's set or not, we are good to go because if it's not set, we're simply going to assume its profile. But if it's set, let's set it to that. And then here, let's add a different query depending on which one is set. So first of all, let's check if it's equal to profile. So let's say if at this point change is equal to profile, then uh, we do what we did last time, which is uh, save that in the profile image. Then let's put an else to make sure that if the user typed something else, in case someone was trying to manipulate your uh, or let's say let's go with cover if change is equal to cover uh, let's set the the cover image here if it's anything else other than cover then set the profile image so let me set this one to cover like that and uh, we are good to go Okay, so change starts as profile. If this guy is set, uh, set it to that. Now remember also, if you want to keep your code neat uh, and smooth, you can still do this, and this will work just fine like this. This is very valid. However, it's not very readable, so if you still want to be able to read your code, uh, leave it like this. Also, please add comments in your code, because if you come back 10 years from now, you won't be able to read or understand what you were trying to do in this code, okay? Check for mode or something like that. Okay. So if it's that, then that, right? So let's see if actually uh, that works. Now, the problem we have here is uh, if it's a cover image, then we will need to change uh, the variables here. Instead of 800 by 800, this is for the profile image only. But for the cover image, you know, the cover image has different dimensions altogether. So let me go back here in our program so that I can see in our folder, so that I can see the dimensions of this particular image. So this one is um, 1,366 by 488. So that's what we are supposed to try and use. So what I will do here is uh, I'll check this from the top there. So what I will do is get uh, change. There we go. I'll cut that. And then I'm going to change it here. I'll check anywhere above here so that I can have two of these then I can use the same if statement here. Where is that? If it's equal to cover, do that. If it's equal to something else, do this. So if it's something else, just use the 800 by 800. If it's a cover photo though, so what I will do here, let me do some math because I want to limit the size to 1000. So our cover image is 1366. So I want to reduce uh, with the same ratio. So anyway, let me just copy that for now. 1,366. Let me come back here. 1,366. And then here, 488. 
I think this should be enough. So let's go and change our cover image. Let me remove that part here at the top. This part that echoes the get. Mm -hmm. And everything should work out fine. So let me go browse and let me try to change our cover image with uh, this dude over here. And uh, let me hit the change button. So if you've noticed, the profile image hasn't changed, neither has the cover image. Now, the reason the cover image hasn't changed is because on the profile, we're not reading from the cover image. So we have to copy this part right here. And let me see where is the cover image being portrayed is right there. So let me go up here where it's mountain.jpg. Put some PHP up here. So now instead of image, I'm simply, I can still use it because I'm replacing it here anyway. So it's okay. I'll say image is equal to, and then source here again. I'm going to copy this PHP and echo the image in here instead of the mountain.jpg. Now, instead of profile image here, of course, I'm going to tell it to read from the cover image in the database. So let's try and refresh that and there we see our image is right there so now as you have seen we have a little bit of a problem here the image is cut in half uh, so our program our uh, what's this our cropping program cropping program sorry isn't working as i would want it to work so let me see if i try this one Okay, so this one didn't change uh, to fit the limits that we had set. Oh, actually, because it's the same file, it has been replaced. So let me try something else. Let me try uh, change cover. Let me try another file name. Okay, there we go. So that worked just fine. I think what was going on is because that file name is the same as this one. So it was interfering with the other one. So change cover. This is why instead of using original file names, we are going to uh, create a random name generator to create random names for our files as we upload them. So let me try that. Okay, so we have an issue here, of course, and we're going to fix it in the next video.